Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept my most humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. My name is Kavya Buddhi Raja and welcome back to your own YouTube channel, Being Krishna Conscious. Today, I will be sharing my personal journey, how I came into Krishna Consciousness. Let me start by telling you all about myself. My name is Kavya Buddhi Raja and by profession I am an advocate. So a lot of people wanted to know about my personal journey, how I came onto this path of Krishna Consciousness, how I got connected with ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So I was very lucky that my parents have always been in favor of bhakti my parents since my childhood they have given me this environment of bhakti at my home so it all started when i was around 10 years old so there was a family friend who gave my mother a copy of bhagavad gita as it is which was authored by his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami srila prabhupad and also informed her that saturday classes every week there are classes going on in a neighborhood temple so you should definitely go and attend those classes so my mother attended one of those classes and she felt really good so the classes were being held by his grace vichitra krishna prabhuji and her grace shama kripa mataji who are also the reason why we got into krishna consciousness so when my mother went there she felt really good because the classes were immensely knowledgeable and they were filled with Hari Katha. Then when she took me there, so one of the Matajis told my mother that there is another class, a separate class going on specially for kids at some other area. So you can drop Kavya to that particular class. So when my mother dropped me to that class, that was a very new experience for me because I was just 10 years old. And one very weird thing happened with me. So usually what happens is that as kids, we are in a habit of calling every other lady as auntie but at that place all the kids were referring to that lady not as auntie but as mataji so that was very awkward for me because i was not into the habit of calling any lady as mataji but somehow i managed so at that time all of the kids were given a coloring paper so we all had to cover different pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna. That was very good because the atmosphere there was very friendly. Everybody was so welcoming and there were a lot of other kids also. So I made a lot of friends and you know things went on. So after that, after some time, my parents got to know about these classes known as Gopal Fun classes, Gopal Fun school, which happens every Sunday morning. So my parents got me admitted to those classes and I was still a kid. I still remember that the first class was taken by His Grace Vichitra Krishna Prabhuji himself. He took time out of his busiest schedule and he took our classes. We all were just kids. So I still remember the very first shlok that took place, the discussion on which took place in that particular class and the first verse, the very first shlok that I remembered as a kid was from chapter number 2 verse number 13 that was dehino asmin yatha dehe kaumaram yavanam zara tatha dehantara praptir dhiras tatra namuhyati and the entire meaning the, the very beautiful meaning of this verse was explained by Prabhuji so this was the very first Gita Shlok that I remembered as a child my first Gita Shlok that is why this particular Shlok holds a very a valuable position in my heart so after that all of this became like a routine so we used to go and attend classes of course I used to go with my parents to the ISKCON center and these classes used to take place every Saturday night and then slowly the classes also expanded to Sunday and then we used to have Sunday classes as well and as a teenager I used to have regular classes known as ashray class ashray means shelter we know the true ashray of all the living entities is supreme personality of godhead shri krishna 
as sadhakas we have to understand that life is full of ups and downs things are going to come and are going to go but there is only one permanent thing that can keep us ever happy ever blissful and that is krishna krishna is made up of sachidanand the first verse of the fifth chapter of shri brahma samhita says ishvara parama krishna sachidanand vigraha अनादिरादिर गोविंद सर्व कारण कारणम ईश्वरा परमा कृष्णा दैट परमेश्वर इज कृष्णा सच्चिदानंद विग्रह कृष्णा इज मेड अप ऑफ सत चेतन आनंद द लास्ट फॉर्म इज आनंद सो जस्ट लाइक कृष्णा द जीव वी आर ऑल्सो मेड अप ऑफ सच्चिदानंद बिकॉज कृष्णा सेज इन द भगवद गीता ममे वामशो जीव लोके जीव भूत सनातना ममे वामशो दीज जीवास आर माय पार्ट एंड पार्सल इट मीन्स दैट इन क्वालिटी वी आर सिमिलर टू कृष्णा सो इफ आवर सोल इज मेड अप ऑफ सच्चिदानंद देन शुडेंट वी बी इन आनंद ऑफकोर्स वी शुड बी देन वी शुड क्वेश्चन आवर सेल्फ if we are made up of ananda if the soul is made up of anand if it is made up of bliss then why are we not happy in this material world the answer is krishna says in the bhagavad gita this world is dukhalayam ashashvatam dukh means misery alay means house this world this material world is the house of miseries so how can we find happiness in the house of distress it means that we are searching for the right thing that is happiness but in the wrong place so what is the right place to search happiness this is what gita teaches us that is why it is very important to read shrimad bhagavad gita every day you can just take up one or two verses and you can read them every day so try to inculcate this habit of reading shrimad bhagavad gita every day try to associate with senior vaishnavas and devotees who can guide us on this path of krishna consciousness who can actually tell us the way how to connect with krishna and how to make our life successful and blissful so this was my journey how i came onto this path of krishna consciousness although i still do not know anything about bhakti i am not a bhakta i am just a struggling sadhaka who even struggles to chant her 16 rounds every day and i believe that all the sukriti that i have got is only through the mercy of shri guru and shri goranga there is nothing that i have done to be honest it's all because of my parents my family my guru and of course krishna i'm truly grateful to shrila prabhupad shrila guru maharaj his grace amrendra prabhu ji his grace amog leela prabhu ji his grace vichitra krishna prabhu ji her grace shama kripa mata ji and all the senior vaishnavas and vaishnavis and my spiritual friends for kindly guiding me always in this path of krishna bhakti all glories to shrila prabhupad hari krishna